Thank you for 3,000 subscribers. To celebrate, I'm giving away some licenses for M Drummer and M Sound Factory. I'll explain how you can enter the giveaway at the end of the video. Now let's talk about M Drummer. I think M Drummer is a somewhat underrated plugin with good sounds and also with a decent value proposition. So on first impression, I also find M Drummer to be a bit overly complicated. You can do many things in various different places and maybe you can just do too many things so it can't be that easy to gain a quick understanding. Nevertheless, I found a way that I enjoy using this plugin without ever diving too deep into its functionalities. Before you can use this plugin, you'll have to install some or all of these M Drummer add-ons. Definitely install the essentials. I would also go for the electronic genres just because it's so small. And then my favorite sounds I usually find in Studio 2008 to 2018 and also Dream Machines. There's also the huge drum empire. The sounds do sound good, but it's not my favorite one. So once you've installed all your sounds, you load the plugin, you'll be greeted with this view. And of course, as with all Melda plugins, if you're not really happy with this view, you can change the look I did find it a bit difficult to get it to look the way I want, but I settled with this uranium dark. Now let's start by just loading a random drum kit with this button. As you notice, this is currently in sequencer mode, in rhythms mode. Personally, I always like to work with drum pad mode and you can easily switch it right here. Now you can just trigger individual drum sounds through the MIDI editor or through a keyboard or by clicking on these drum pads. Keep in mind that if you hit this randomizer button, you specifically load a kit from the folder you're in at the time. And sadly, I can't find an easy way to just load a random drum set from the whole library. I would suggest you start by going to the Acoustic Studio 2018 folder, which has a nice large variety of kits in it, and then you load a random kit. Usually these are all multi-samples, and if you click a pad towards the left, you can preview some of the softer samples and towards the right, some of the louder samples. You can of course solo or mute individual drum pads. And the plus and minus are to increase or decrease the volume of a pad by one decibel at a time. Another quirky thing though about this plugin is I don't really know what this corresponds to because it doesn't affect the mixer channels and it also doesn't seem to affect any settings I was able to see in the drum set editor. But somehow it controls the pad volume. Now, of course, it's interesting to use these drum kits that Melda curated, but it can also be fun to make your own. And an easy way to do that is just to hit generate. Now this plugin just created an assortment of samples in the channel MIDI map. Immediately playable. I think it's really fun. Now we have a drum kit and the easiest way that you can exchange kit pieces in it is to go to the designer still on this quick setup page. For example, I might not like that kick so much. I can just select a random new one. You might have spotted this bar up here and you might have spotted the drum set editor. Here you have three different hi-hat samples. The regular one, the pedal and the open hat. In this drum set editor, you can easily switch individual multi-samples, like a different closed hat, but still keep the same open hat. So this is focused on the individual multi-samples. Meanwhile, in the designer, you're exchanging whole kit pieces. I much prefer working like this, like I'm creating my imaginary drum kit and I can just easily exchange the hi-hat that I'm using. Now with one click, it replaced all three multi-samples. So the drum set editor thinks in multi-samples, while the designer thinks in kit pieces. Let's try a different kick drum, maybe from Drum Tornado, Gretsch Custom 1. Okay. I don't really like the toms. And again, here I can exchange whole tom sections. And honestly, I think that's kind of all you need to know about M Drummer. Here you load preset kits and here you customize your kit. But if you want to go a bit deeper, I have some more tips that you might want to know.
Let's start by making a kit from scratch. Select the default preset, but you'll see that you'll have some kits loaded in the drum set editor and you can just select one, hit minus and then it's gone. Or you can select all of them with shift click, minus, not roll gun. And now we're back to the rhythms. Let's switch over to drum pad mode. In the designer, I can now just load individual kit pieces one by one. Let's select a kick, maybe one from Dream Machines. Why not? That's interesting. Let's select a snare, maybe a random one. I don't really like that. Different one. Mm. Why not? Now you see the balance is a bit off. I think the snare is too loud. Let's just make it a bit quieter. A bit louder. That's it. Let's select a hi-hat. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, I kind of like this. Ooh. Maybe let's adjust this in the mixer. I want to layer this kick with another one. I think the best way might be to go to load and join, and then we select components, bass drum, drum empire 2022, dry. Yeah. Now we have two kicks, two kick ones. Okay, now we loaded a kick, a snare and a hi-hat. And an interesting thing to do now is to generate effects. This will just generate some effects to go onto your kit pieces. And of course you have full control over these effects in the mixer. See right here we have a turbo EQ on the kick or a turbo comp on the snare. You can use all Melda effects in this mixer. And another cool thing to do is to load and join a whole kit because now we only have these three components in our kit currently and what if I want to have all of the general MIDI slots filled I can just load another kit on top of what we just did and this will just fill in all the slots that I haven't yet used actually I think I'm wrong about that I think it just loads the whole kit on top of each other and you'll just layer the sounds see now we have two hi-hats I guess if you don't want the new one you just mute the new one Honestly, that's kind of all I know about M Drummer. I'm still learning a lot about it. I just quickly want to mention you have the mix review. I think some multi samples trigger additional overhead and room samples, while other ones just trigger the direct mic'd samples. So with this drum empire kit chicken funk, I can actually change the balance and make the kick a lot roomier. But I still haven't figured out if or how I can only hear the overhead or room mics without the direct samples, for example. It's all a bit confusing. Then you have the song tab, where you can like program accompaniments for whole songs with rhythms from the rhythm editor or rhythm generator. And an important feature right here, I think is probably the export MIDI. I also want to give you a quick overview over what kind of sounds you can expect in this plugin. First of all, of course, acoustic drums, we've heard many. The basic ones are, as the name suggests, a bit basic. But then they have the more premium add-ons, like the Studio 2000 to 2018. And these two sound a lot better to me, like these vintage kits are pretty cool. But then of course the biggest, the most deeply sampled kits you'll find in Drum Empire 2022 or Drum Tornado is the same samples with different effects on them. And I could just make this a lot more dry if I turn down some of these other mics. I honestly somewhat prefer that sound. Let's listen to a kit of Drum Tornado. Next up, you'll find electronic drums.
all Dream Machine samples are also in here. Let's just hear some harder electronic drums so you hear what they have to offer. I don't know how useful these are to you. And also interesting is what they have to offer in regards to percussion. to get used to where these samples are on the keyboard but it's nice samples and something really useful to do with this is of course just to use some of the built-in rhythms to add a layer to your song That's pretty good stuff. Talking a bit more about the value proposition. Usually M Drummer costs $284. That sounds quite steep on first impression, but you have to consider that you get around 80 gigabytes of drum samples with that price. And potentially more in the future because updates are free forever. If we compare this to some other drum plugins I like and I talk about on this channel, we have Addictive Drums, for example. A custom collection with three kits will usually run you around $170. And if you want to get more kits like six, it's going to run you past $300 really quickly. Then we also have UGEN virtual drummers. One kit is going to be around $40, but it's not really useful to compare a single kit with a whole collection like M Drummer, unless you only want a single kit. And Drummer is probably really more comparable with the full collection, which is also going to run you around $170. But you can also go a lot deeper in M Drummer, and generally it feels like you have more sample content. So because it's just one big bundle, the price can be a bit intimidating, but I think it's kind of comparable to some of its competition. And depending on how you look at it, it's kind of a fair price. Of course, if you don't need another drum plugin and you don't like the sounds are shown in the video, then it's not for you. If you're considering a purchase though, this is a great time because Melda is celebrating their 17th birthday and you can get M Drummer 55% off. So now it's around $130. In addition, they gave me a coupon code. If you enter Sylvan M Drummer, that's my name, Sylvan. If you enter Sylvan M Drummer at checkout, you'll get an additional 15% off and it's going to run you around $110. Thank you for watching the video. Now for the giveaway. I reached out to Melody Production and asked if they would provide me with some licenses that I can give away. I struggled a bit deciding on which plugins I would want to give away though. I thought of course it had to be M Sound Factory because that's my favorite Melda plugin. And because I like virtual instruments in general and I wanted to do this video about M Drummer for a while, I thought it's a great opportunity to finally talk about that plugin and give away licenses for M Drummer. So you can win one of four licenses that I have. I have two M Sound Factory licenses and two M Drummer licenses. To enter you just have to leave a comment on this post on my Instagram and the first winner gets first pick of these four licenses and so on. And while you're over there, consider following my Instagram. I think that also makes it a bit easier for me to contact you after you potentially win a license. You can enter until July 9th. That's when I'll select the winners and I'll publish them shortly after. And now I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you again soon. And thanks Melda for providing me with some licenses.